Expo. We're engaging you guys on social media. Tuna wakumbusha like, comment, subscribe to our pages and also follow us for follow back. Now, I'd like to remind you guys the topic of discussion we had today. Uh, if you remember back in the days when you were a kid, uh, there are some myths and beliefs that you were told about uh, what life is or where you came from. And later on, as a mature person, you came to realize they were lies. That's what we're talking about. So please let us know what some of the beliefs that you were told on our social media platform at ESAQ TV show or Y254 YouTube channel. So now, Nimejoin on our flani up or Noma Sana Capella band. They go by the name of Terra, Terra Pella. And Karibu um, Nisana on set by the way. Before that, we get into the, into the conversation, I've just talked about the topic of discussions. Eh? Mi na kumbuka niliambwa nikiwa mjuni anilizaliwa nilikuwa uliza nilitoka hapi nikambwa nilibaiwa supa ama nilikamu na maji. So maybe uneza tuambia some of the few things that you were told as a kid. Tukianza na ya brawe. Sasa mi na kumbuka nikiambiwa <laughs> atuki nini ukitoa meno, meno ikitoka mm -hmm. unafueke nyuma ya mtungi ya adho iza itamea. Ukingoa. Tito. Oh, neza sema, the one that I remember clear is ukiokota pesa kwa barabara unaambua wewe oh, utakuwa na mashilingi wazee so unapata noti ya 500 unailenga <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh -huh. so that was my is of meat eh eh safi sana uh, uh, mine i think uh, we were told when you were kids that ukikula matunda alafu umeza hiyo mbegu zitamea kwa tumbo mimi titamea zisizozoka tunambo tukiwa dogo yani lakini i hope you don't pass it to your kids as well azizi tu hapo eh safi sana now you in the building thank you for, so much for making time to be with us terapella now i want us to start with a brief uh, history or tell us a little bit about yourselves maybe i'll form the question to you davis you tell us a little bit about uh, terapella eh, as a as a group and how you guys to came to form this old group up together uh, so we we were friends before even we went to high school with Brian and other three members who are absent today. Mm -hmm. uh, we had this passion of a genre of music, a cappella, and they, him and some two other guys who are absent, they were in the same school. So we were used to meet in church and share and sing in the youth, uh, maybe a, a, a group called Ambassadors, and then we came to realize this genre of music that's a cappella music so the moment they we finish form four we felt that we should maybe make a make a group that's when we started uh 2014 uh, we started singing going to sh to mission schools and maybe churches up to this point so it it's been like four years yeah four so years you make professionally in the game in 2018 yeah, and With a one bit audio uh, uh, and yeah. two tracks, eh? Yeah. Okay, now maybe I move to you, Brian. Uh, you can tell us about if not a cappella, what would you be doing? What else would you be doing? If it's not a cappella, I'll be an actor. Yeah, I love this stage. You I have the skills it. of an actor. Yeah, I do, man. Uh, I've been acting all. I've been acting since primary school, and uh, I think it shifted when I arrived in uh, in in high school, mm -hmm. because in high school I was asked to join a, a singing group. Mm -hmm. That is the choir of the school. Since then, I think I've never turned back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. To you, Tito, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we could talk about your mentors when you're young, as a, as a young uh, cappella artist, and who are some of these men mentors and why? Um, okay, when we were starting, mm -hmm. uh, we used to look up to some groups. Uh, in Kenya, apparently, there are a couple of uh, cappellas, cappella groups mm -hmm. that have not been yet heard of. But then they're good. So some of the groups that we used to look up to were our brothers, our older brothers who used to mentor us, called one of our chord. Mm -hmm. So they're really good uh, a cappella music. Generally, let's say worldwide, uh, we look up to people like Voca People, Pentatonics, and the likes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Tito, let me ask you, eh? uh, what are the some of the skills in your development of choral that you've learned you like to share out here? Uh, musically, or yeah, musically. musically, I think it's about the vocals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, since we we started singing, our vocals have really improved. So the skills that we've earned, I think it is by practice. So maybe someone out there might have an an idea about music, 
but if you don't put it into practice, it can never bear fruits. So music is about uh, practice and practice. Mm. So as a team, eh? you six and unfortunately three couldn't make it. We do apologize for that. But then uh, how do you go about uh, concert programming? Like how do you prepare for a concert as a team, you guys? Maybe Tito, you can go. You can answer that. About concerts, uh, we've not yet organized one for Terapella, but it is coming this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we we organized for last year, but so many events happened that uh, we couldn't find the time, maybe the proper time to arrange for the concert. But uh, what we basically look for is sponsors and some people can invest in good music. We bring them together. We, found we maybe search for a, a sound producer and maybe somebody who lets sound uh, equipment. We talk to him, talk about the brand. He will be building brand by maybe sponsoring us in, a, in an event. And then that's how we plan for music. We first, uh, for our concert, we reach out to people who can assist us. And then now we bring in our, our part as Terapella and then the concert happens. Mm -hmm. uh, th that's what we're looking forward to. Yeah. Now, we have a conversation just like my fellow colleague here, Mike, has talked about mm -hmm. playing KE. Mm -hmm. Now, do the a cappella artists also face the same thing? Like, so, Tienyu uh, Naskiko Kuinja? Okay, currently, what I can say is uh, a cappella is a new genre in Kenya. Mm -hmm. It has been there, but on uh, it has been there actually, but it wasn't, it wasn't like so much uh, what announced. It wasn't announced. So what, what you're trying to do right now is we're just trying to get it outside there. Yeah, we are facing the same challenges. No airplays like whatever our friends said earlier on. But we're just, we're just trying our best and believing in ourselves as, a, as an artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe we could talk about some of the shows that you perform, maybe some of the platforms that you guys have been, and maybe what are the, some of the uh, experiences that you got from this exposure? Mm -hmm. So far, we've been performing uh, all over. I guess we have been doing performance in schools, mm. uh, churches, corporate events, concerts. So the experience so far that we have gained is that uh, the stage fright is no, no more village Kianza. Uh -huh. So uh, as a crew, we have grown. And as personally, I can say performing on stage has been an experience. I mean, in here to meet new people, uh, you know, stage fright is normal so I guess uh, the experiences we have had as builders as Terapella music. Mm -hmm. yes. Now uh, let's talk about branding and awareness to the as marketing out here. Uh, you've done covers as well, eh? Uh, maybe we could talk about some of the importance of make, uh, having covers in talent enhancement. Maybe Tito you can tell us. Take I can say importance of covers. You know first you cannot do a cover of some, some music that has not been heard. That has not trended maybe. So the importance of it is, big, is people can relate you with the group that you've done a cover for, all the musician that you've done a cover for. So we, when you do a cover, we usually look for the top artists or some trending music. We do covers for, for the songs, and that's how they trend. So when you do a cover, you must consider if the song is, is known to people. You cannot do a cover of some maybe some artist maybe who has never been heard, people will wonder who, who is this cover, maybe. We've, no, we've never heard of the, the guy. So when you do a cover, you usually look at the trending music and artists, then we cover them with our own style of a cappella and other artists of, with their own style maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now in the, in, in the game, in this industry, you have two tracks and one audio. Um, maybe we can talk about which, which among the three, eh? Mkonawako, there is Tangu, and there is the cover for Xmas, eh? Christmas mm -hmm. one, the Silent Night. Yeah. Which one was the breakthrough for you guys? Okay, so far, mm -hmm. okay, if you look at our, at our channel, that is the Terapella YouTube channel, you'll realize that the song that has the most views, it's Tangu. So as for us, we count Tangu as a, as a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. But what introduced us to the market was the Xmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it was, I think, a new tune, something cool, <laughs> and guys loved it. You'll be performing Tango Mkonawangu later in this interview? Yes, we will. You'll be performing Tango? Yes, we will. 
Tango. Tango, eh? Yeah, because Mkono, Mkono, we are waiting for the video first. For the video. Yeah, to be out. Let's talk about mm. Tango. Maybe what inspired this track? Who was, the, who was the producer behind it? Like, how did it come to be about mm, Tito? Uh, uh, Tango, uh, we arranged it as a group. Uh, and then we went to the studio. Uh, it is called Rhyme X. Somebody who is uh, our brother, our friend, you know him, is Ben Jits. The one who did the cover by Just Away. Yeah, Just Away. Yeah, by Caberere, the mm. acapella cover. Yeah. So we went to the studio with the, this idea of the song. We had only stanza one and the chorus. And because we thought it was something cool, it should not be long. But we went, he challenged us to maybe come up with a second stanza. He helps us in arranging music, our music. So he's our producer, our friend, our brother. And Tango was not as it was before, but it has become better through his help. So he's one producer that we, we respect mm -hmm. so much. Uh, Tito, sorry, yeah? uh, let's talk about uh, what is the message inside this, this music, eh, Tango? Ni what is the message in turn and who is it supposed to, to listen to this kind of music? Okay, the message about Tango, it's all about knowing Christ. Uh, uh, at first, a couple of us uh, were not, let's say, born again. They, they, they used to maybe do other things apart from singing. So uh, it was a calling personally to other members in the crew. Yeah. So the message is about uh, the life before and life after knowing Christ. Mm -hmm. So that tango, tango comes the part where now, after now you have known Christ. You're born again now. Now you're born again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, to the gospel uh, lovers out here, I do hope you do like this band here and support them, go to their YouTube channel, maybe you can give us a social media and maybe one piece of advice that you would give to these upcoming con conductors or a cappella artist using camera phone. Camera phone. Yeah. Okay, so to our fans, we are Terapella. We thank you for tuning in first of all. We love Y254. Thanks, Maurice, for, for the invite. Okay. So our, our social media handles are, there's a YouTube channel, Terrapella, there's Facebook, Terrapella, under the same name, and there's Twitter too. All of them run on the same. Terrapella name. Music. Yeah, Terrapella Music, Terrapella Music. Mm -hmm. So one advice I can give to our artists, or the upcoming artist is, uh, art is an art. Music is a music. Let you not be defined by the type of music that you want to sing. We as artists, we have an obligation to we have an obligation to educate the entertain. generation and entertain the generation. Mm. So whatever, whatever part of venture in music you want to you wanna go into, you just go into it and do it to your level best. That's all I can say. Man. Yeah, you've had it itself. Maybe what are some of the future projects to Kimalizia? Real quick. Uh, we've spoken about the concert coming yeah. out. Mm -hmm. uh, God willing, this year we can drop an album maybe later if things go well. Uh, there is some more music coming, maybe the on March, we have some music, some the video for Mkonoako, we have another cover coming, and we have another, many projects coming, so this year will be a very busy year for us, and we will be performing also in churches, corporate events, so if you want to invite us, you can send an email to Terapella Music at oh, Gmail, media. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, or any other platform. Yeah, we have our contacts there, you can reach to us. So this year we want to just work mm -hmm. musically. So Safi Sana, now you've heard from the people themselves, the Rokopi Music, go into the YouTube, support these guys by liking their page, sharing, and also subscribing to their YouTube channel at Terra, Terra Pella Music. Mm -hmm. And also at us, at Isaku TV Show, in here Instagram, Pali, like the photos that we have. Also comment and let us know what you think about our topic of discussion. That some of the maids and believes later on we came to realize there were lies, you know. So reach out to us on social media. We will, from this aside, we want to take a short musical break, but don't touch the dark. We'll be right back. We'll be right back.